So the way, the, with the way that we build the model, the simulation, is that we uh, collect lots of data through focus groups, through surveys and interviews, and we ask people questions about how they feel about migration. And then what we try and do is we try and um, understand how likely they are to migrate, and if those things change, how that impacts and changes their own decisions. So once we know that, once we know how likely people are to migrate, then we can go to the computer simulation and we can program all the what are called agents within the program with those rules, those decisions, and people's likelihood whether they're going to migrate or not. And then we literally let the simulation run. And those agents uh, encounter each other in situations which mirror the real world and the agents within the model will make those decisions based on what we know about people. And so over time, the simulation will produce a set of patterns where people are more or less likely to migrate. And so it's predicting what may, might happen in the future. It's simulating based on the data that we've collected. The actual goal is to understand if we change something in the real world. So if we change a policy, uh, making it uh, more easy or more difficult to migrate, whether we provide training or support for return migrants or uh, people who are in communities who want to increase uh, their uh, employment opportunities, their livelihoods, uh, what impact that has on uh, choices to migrate safely. And I think that's the ultimate thing, that we're trying to understand what empowers people to make safe choices about whether they remain uh, and stay or whether they travel overseas and how they do it and where they go etc. And we can't know that uh, without creating some kind of model that predicts this and that's, that's what the simulation does.